Coney, the Chihuahua Minasan. Today I'm gonna taste the Sara Laksa from All Days Food. So I just wanna say this right at the beginning of the video. They are not specialized in selling laksa. There is not a specialized laksa store selling here, but instead they actually sell a lot, a lot of fuchao fried stuff like for maybe like fried hongan and like fuchao mian, kampong, all those stuff. Okay, so their laksa is not gonna lie a surprisingly rare sighting on their list of menu when i actually saw they sell laksa i'm actually surprised but with that being said let's talk about the laksa presentation looks decent very simple bowl of laksa nothing much to talk about but there's only one prawn okay so there's only one prawn but the prawn is super duper huge it, it, i think it really depends on what do you think like it's really worth it like it's a big prawn better than three small prawns something like that i think one big prawn is suffice for me but it might differ from person to person it is only seven ringgit so it's actually quite affordable not gonna lie so with that being said let me start off with the soup the soup doesn't have the the famous like red oiliness to it it looks very milky very murky in color so i'm not sure what to expect not gonna lie but let me just test it wow the flavor punch the flavor really punched me out of nowhere that is really interesting very sweet really really sweet <laughs> The sweetness tested a little bit, kind of like pineapple sweetness. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it really tastes like pineapple sweetness. I'm gonna add in the sambal that they actually provide. The sambal looks not red also, like there's nothing red about this bowl of laksa. Like every color that I have in front of me is like very murky in color, so I'm not sure what to expect. Okay. still very sweet like there's this taste of pineapple in the soup i'm not sure where does it actually come from but it is not a bad taste it's just not your typical laksa flavor uh, but the good thing is that the soup is still really really hot i really really love it okay next we have the bihun the bihun is i think they cut the bihun to like bite size something like that because it's very difficult me, difficult for me to like get a whole bunch up at a single go so the bihun looks good it looks like it, it managed to stock up quite a lot of the soup but with that being said let me test it okay decently test let me try another test mm. I like the bihun. The bihun is soft, very easy to chew. It has a lot of flavor. And the best thing is that it managed to retain the the heat of the laksa itself. So that is really, really surprising, not gonna lie, because I don't see a lot of smoke in front of me right now. So for it to still retain so much heat in this bowl of laksa without showing me a lot of like smoke and all the stuff, that is really amazing. Decent, mm. okay. Decent bihun. Next, the prawn. It is not the shell at all, but it is definitely fully divine, so that is a good thing. Um, okay. Once again, I don't like the feet going down and all those stuff, but I'm too lazy to peel them off, so I'm just gonna bite it. Since this is how they serve it, I'm, this is how I'm gonna eat it. Mm. very juicy prawn this is one of the good like good side of using a big prawn rather than just small prawn because big prawn they are able to retain the juice more easily and i love it man like the the thinness of the prawn is really really amazing but i would really hope that they actually peel off the skin for me that's gonna benefit quite a lot to help me enjoy the flavor of the prawn the prawn is very very flavorful i think partly it's also because of the skin but 
after you cook it, you can peel it off. I think that's gonna be way, way much more better than serving your customer with all the leg on something like that, okay? Uh. I finished this bowl laksa. Final thoughts before I leave. I wouldn't call this laksa. It's not a bad soup. It's not a bad bowl of food. Just that calling it a laksa, you actually create kind of like an expectation for a lot of people like, hey, this is how a laksa should have tasted like and all those stuff. So it actually downplayed the flavorness, the, the deliciousness of this laksa itself. But I'm not sure what else you can actually call it other than laksa, okay? So if you want to come try, feel free to come. But it's not your typical bowl of laksa. That is all from me. Hope you enjoy and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Goodbye.